Hi there and welcome to another video with Mr Hegarty. It's video 11 on our uh, quickfire GCSE revision for hire and we're talking about simple probability where there are two possibilities in the answers. As always with these videos you may want to pause and read this but essentially these videos are quick, sharp, focused revision mainly on grade C and grade B topics. If you need more explanation you have to look at Hegarty Maths for that. Make a revision card as I explain the topic very quickly and then do the exam questions that I direct you to at the end. So, simple probabilities. Imagine the, uh, I'm trying to catch a ball and the probability I catch the ball is 0 0.3. I'd like to know if I was trying to catch the ball, if someone threw the ball at me maybe, I don't know, 600 times, how could I approximate or how could I estimate how many times I catch it? Estimate how many times I catch it. Well, what you do is you take the probability that you catch it one time and you multiply that by however many times you try uh, the experiment. So you multiply that by 600. Now, this would be in the non-calculator paper. You'd be expected to do this. So a side working, forget the zeros, just 3 times 6 is equal to 18. So therefore, 0 0.3 times 6 would be equal to 1.8. So therefore, 0 0.3 multiplied by 60 would be 18 again. And 0 0.3 multiplied by 600 would be 180. So that's how you could always work out those answers. You'd expect 180. Now, what if I asked you, on the other hand, how... What's the probability that I drop the ball? If I catch it, it's 0 0.3. What's the probability I drop it? Well, when there are two outcomes, the probabilities must add to 1. So probabilities must add to 1. To 1. Therefore, the probability of dropping must be 1 take away 0 0.3, which is 0 0.7. So if I asked you how many times you'd expect to drop it, you would do 0 0.7 multiplied by 600, do it the same way I did here, and you would get 420. Okay, so key ideas here, when you're dealing with probabilities, the probability of a thing happening or not, they must add to 1, and when you're working out an estimate for the number of times something happens, you take the probability of that thing happening and you multiply it by how many times you do the experiment. You may have to do these in your head. Right, let's do a few examples. These aren't the exam questions. So a few examples. The probability of a seed flowering is 0 0.2. Estimate how many seeds will flower if I plant 200 seeds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take 0 0.2 and I'm going to multiply it by 200. You have to be able to do that without your calculator. It's fairly easy, but what you would do is 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. So therefore 0 0.2 multiplied by 2 must be 0 0.4. Therefore, 0 0.2 multiplied by 20 must be 4 again. So 0 0.2 multiplied by 200 is going to be equal to 40. So the answer to this would be 40. Okay, the next one. Um, it says the probability of a biased coin landing on heads is 0 0.3. Estimate how many heads you would expect if I toss the coin 400 times. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the probability of a head is 0 0.3 and we're going to multiply it by 400. Okay, so you should be able to do this, but again, 3 multiplied by 4 is 12, so therefore 0 0.3 multiplied by 4 is 1.2, therefore 0 0.3 multiplied by 40 must be 12 again, and 0 0.3 multiplied by 400 is 120. So the answer here is 120. Now, the next two are slightly harder. Let's just read the question carefully. The probability of a bias coin landing on your heads is 0 0.2, Estimate how many tails you would expect if I tossed it 300 times. So you get one mark for saying the probability of a heads is 0 0.2. So what must the probability of tails must be? Well, it's 1 subtract 0 0.2, which is 0 0.8. So if I want to work out how many tails, I do 0 0.8 multiplied by 300. Again, you have to be able to do in your head. 8 multiplied by 3 is 24. Therefore, 0 0.8 multiplied by 3 is 2.4. Therefore, 0 0.8 multiplied by 30 is 24. And therefore, 0 0.8 multiplied by 300 is equal to 240. So the answer here is 240. And last example, a tennis player wins with probability 0 
they draw with probability 0 0.15. She plays 200 times, estimate the number of losses. So we've got the probability of a win is 0 0.2, the probability of a draw is 0 0.15. Now, we're going to add those two together. Remember, just add a zero in here to make it easier to add. So that's 0 0.35. So let's work out the probability of a loss. It must be 1 subtract 0 0.35, which is going to be equal to 0 0.65. So if you want to work out how many losses, you do 0 0.65 multiplied by 200. OK, so what's the best way to do this? Well, what you could do is you could do 65 times 2. Right, 65 times 2 is 130. So therefore, uh, 6.5 multiplied by 2 is going to be equal to 13, and 0 0.65 multiplied by 2 is going to be equal to 1.3. So 0 0.65 multiplied by 20 is 13 again, and 0 0.65 multiplied by 200 is 130. So the answer here would be 130. But you could just do that in your head if you're good with multiplying with your decimals. Anyway, that's it. I'd like you to try the following questions. So I've got four questions for you. Pause the video, have a go. I'll go through these in three seconds, uh, in 10 seconds, and I'll show you one more, and I'll go through that in another 10. Okay, going through this, um, if you want to estimate the number of seeds that will flower, the probability is 0 0.7, so you do 0 0.7 multiplied by 300. You should be able to do that in your head and get 210. The next one, the probability that a biased dice will land on 5 is 0 0.3. She's going to roll it 400 times. How many times will it land on a 5? We do 0 0.3 multiplied by 400, and you should be able to work that out as 120. Rihanna plays a game. She loses with the probability 0.32. She draws with probability 0.05. So if you add those together, you get 0.37. So what's the probability she wins? Well, it's 1 subtract 0.37, which is going to be equal to 0.63. So an estimate for the wins, it would be 0.63 multiplied by 200. Now, um, you, you'd have to probably do that in your head. 63 multiplied by 2, well, if you double that, you're going to get yourself 126. And if you do the various adjustments, uh, you will realise that this, because this is um, divided by 100 and this 2 is times by 100, this will give you 126 as well. Okay, last one. Pause the video. Have a go. I'll go through in 10 seconds. Okay, so the probability a seed will go 0.75. What is the probability the seed will not grow? Well, it's 1 subtract 0.75, which is 0.25. She plants 200 seeds. Estimate the number that will grow. Well, it's the probability of growing is, again, the probability of growing is 0.75. So 0.75 multiplied by 200. Okay? Um, and that gives you 150 if you work that out. You get 150 there. So that's it for this video. Hope you found that useful.